Watch our new DIY project compilation. Let's create beauty together. In this tutorial, we'll show awesome scrapbook page ideas for a boyfriend. For the first card making idea, we'll need black cardboard, white paper, white cardboard, embellishments, and multi-purpose glue. Let's make a man suit shaped card. Take black cardstock and make a gatefold overlapping a little bit. Fold the upper corners to form tail lapels. Cut out tiny squares at the corners. Now, let's make a shirt. Measure out an inch beyond the edge of white paper. Join the marks. Cut out the strip. Place it in the middle of the white piece. It will be a placket with buttons. Make a collar. Mark a spread between tips. Draw points using a ruler. Cut off the excess. Correct the shape with scissors. Add white glue. Adhere. Take a strip of black paper, shape a ring, and press over. Make a bow tie. Cut off the excess. Repeat the shape. Cut it out. Add some glue. Form a tie. Wind the bow with another strip in the center. Fasten with glue. Add white glue to the bow tie. Attach to the shirt. The 3D bow tie looks perfect. Assemble the details. Put the shirt inside the tails. Make a belt to keep the card closed. Wrap the card with a black cardboard strip. Cut off the excess. Fasten with glue. You can attach a tag with a wish to the black strip. Put on the belt. Straighten the tie. Add embellishments. Use multi-purpose glue. Add a pearl button to the placket. A button on the tails will make it look natural. You can use the cool card as a birthday gift. For the second scrapbook idea, we'll need craft cardstock, white cardboard, scrapbook paper, black and red cardboard, buttons, white glue, and multi-purpose glue. Let's make a scrapbook photo page. Outline a hanger on the black cardboard. Lay a wooden board. Cut out the inner part with a craft knife. You can use scissors to cut the outline. Let's hang ties on the hanger. You can sketch them easily. Make a red one first. Cut it out. Make another one from the scrapbook paper. Done! Attach a craft cardstock background to white cardboard. Use white glue. Now place the elements on the page to see how it looks. 
add glue to the thin details using a brush. Add buttons. Attach them with multi-purpose glue. Perfect! The scrapbook page will create a special background for a photo. These two scrapbook ideas for a boyfriend can be used in different cases. The card being a birthday gift and the scrapbook photo page as an everyday present. But either way, your handmade gift will be special. In our tutorial, we'll show you how you can make a scrapbook for your boyfriend. We'll need white paper, color cardstock, paper with prints, patterned paper, multi-purpose glue, white glue, and decorative supplies. Take the white paper and mark off using a ruler and pencil. Draw strips of about an inch width. Fold the paper accordion style. Add some white glue to the end pleat and attach the cardboard. It's the back side of the cover. Put the pages into the scrapbook, sticking them to the pleats with the white glue. Finally, attach the front side. Cover the back of the scrapbook with the patterned paper. Measure the proper piece. Cut off the excess. Use a craft knife and a ruler. Keep in mind to lay a cutting board. Attach the spine. Conceal the attachment places inside. Start decorating the pages. Everything depends on your imagination. Keep in mind to embellish the front side. Cool! The boyfriend scrapbook will keep bright, awesome photos for a long time. This project is about how to make cute romantic birthday cards. If you need to make a gift together with your friends, you'll need a big card so that everyone can write some words together. Let's make the card! We'll need a mini envelope to be used as a template. Place the envelope on the back side of scrapbook paper. Trace it. Cut it out. Prepare several differently patterned envelopes. Score the folding lines with some scoring tool. An empty ballpoint pen, for example. Fold up. Repeat for the other elements. Attach the flaps using white glue. Make other envelopes in the same way. Attach the envelopes with double-sided foam tape. Use the white glue to attach a tag. Add some embellishments. Put heart-shaped tags inside the envelopes. This card is the best solution if you want to make a birthday card together with your friends or family members. Everyone can write a wish on a tag and put it into a separate envelope. Let's start another card with drawing puffy clouds. Use white or beige cardstock. Cut them out. Attach the clouds to soft pattern paper using the foam tape. Place a tag at the bottom. Take thick thread. Attach the ends with multi-purpose glue imitating a clothesline outside. Make a small red heart. Attach the foam tape to the back of the background. Attach it to the cardboard base. Put a wish note inside. Hang up the heart to the line with a decorative clothespin. 
Send this lovely card to a person you love and it will express your feelings better than any word. Let's make the card featuring a 3D mailbox for love letters. Take a paper strip three inches wide and mark off two inches and then one inch across the length. Score the lines. Fold the box. Add white glue to the short side. Turn the long side down and attach, forming an arch-shaped top of the box. Cut off the excess. Make the back side from another paper piece. Trace the back of the box. Add the flaps to attach the back to the sides. Score the lines. Add the glue. Attach the back. Trim the edge. Draw a red semaphore flag. Add a themed tag. And the flag. Now make a card base. Attach a sky pattern paper to the cardstock as a background. Make a box stand from dark paper strips. Attach the mailbox to the stand. Decorate the flag with a pearl half. Put the mail in. Add some embellishments. And a wish note. The mail has been delivered. The marvelous card with a 3D mailbox full of love letters will be a perfect affectionate gift. For another card, take scrapbook paper and draw a big heart from the back. Cut it out with a craft knife. Be careful to underlay a wooden cutting board. Draw the word love on red cardstock. Don't make the letters too thin so you can cut them out easily. Use scissors to cut the letters out. Make a small red heart. Use it as a template to make several more of the same hearts. Embellish the card with ribbons. Attach them using multi-purpose glue. Cut off the excess. Tie a bow from another ribbon piece. Use the multi-purpose glue again to attach the bow. It's better to attach the hearts with double-sided foam tape. Place them on the bottom of the card. Glue a light background to the dark base. Attach the foam tape to the back of the central cut heart element. Attach it to the cardboard base. Glue letters to form love in the center of the heart. Add a few embellishments. Keep in mind a wish note. The heart card will express your feelings better than words. Now, let's make a card for your boyfriend. Attach a soft patterned scrapbook square to a blue cardstock base. Decorate the bottom with the star patterned paper. Make the background a bit more sophisticated by gluing on an ornamental strip in the center. Draw glasses on the black paper. It's easy. Sketch a square first, divide it in half, draw a bridge, outline a frame, cut it out. The lenses will be white. To make them identical, draw and cut one out. Use it as a template to trace and get another one. Attach them to the glasses. Attach the glasses to the base using double-sided foam tape. Add a tag. Put a wish note inside. The card will be a good choice, especially if your boyfriend wears eyeglasses, or perhaps he is fond of spy fiction, be it a literature genre or a video game, or you can just leave the glasses dark. Take white embossed cardstock for the next card. Attach a pale pink ribbon to the bottom part using multi-purpose glue. Fold the ribbon ends to the back for a neat look. Attach the element as a background to a blue base. Use white glue. Attach white square paper to the blue cardboard a bit bigger in size. Attach the detail to the center of the base. 
Make a heart template. Trace it on differently patterned scrapbook paper to get three different hearts. Cut them out. Trace the heart on color paper a bit beyond the edge to get a similar bigger element. Make three of the same details. Attach smaller hearts to the bigger ones. Attach one element to the center of the card using white glue. Fasten the other two with double-sided foam tape. You can overlap the hearts to make the card more interesting. Tie a ribbon bow. Attach it with the multi-purpose glue. Add some embellishments. And a wish note inside. The heart is a true symbol of love and if there are a few different ones, it means your feelings are sophisticated. Anyone will be happy to receive such a lovely card. We'll make a flower pot shaped card. Draw a flower pot on a cardboard base folded in half. Outline a square on top. To make it neat, cut out the pot on the front side first. Then, trace the pot to get it on the back. Cut it out. Cut off the square on the front. Cover the bottom with scrapbook paper. Trace the pot and cut it out. Attach to the card front using white glue. Round the corners. Make small flowers using color paper. Decorate the pot with silk thread. Attach it to the top using multi-purpose glue. Attach the flowers. Make green paper leaves. Glue them near the flowers. Now, let's make statement layered flowers. Draw the lower layer first. Its petals are the biggest. Reduce further petals in size using different colors each time. Let's assemble the flower using the white glue. Keep in mind a wish note. Attach white paper to a green background and add a tag. Glue it inside the card. Place the statement flowers on top. Add the leaves. Glue pearl halves into each flower core. Curl the petals to create a 3D effect. This card is a perfect way to send a quick note of thanks to your family and friends. You can use these cute romantic card ideas to create smart birthday or some anniversary cards to personalize your gift. Everybody loves original gifts. What about you? We're going to make a fabulous exploding box with a sweet donut decoration and awesome cards hidden inside. You can put a pretty little gift into the exploding box. It could be beauty products, jewelries, or something very special. Take color cardboard 15 inches by 15 inches. The size of the box depends on the cardboard dimensions. Mark your cardboard every 5 inches along the border. Connect the marks with parallel lines. We've got the tic-tac-toe board. Draw a diagonal directed to the cardboard center in each corner square. Take the paper of the corner square size. Fold the diagonal and outline a heart half. The heart-shaped template is ready. Place it on the corner and trace. Carefully cut out. We've got four lovely hearts. Take another cardboard for a middle layer, 
13 and a half inches by 13 and a half inches. Mark the paper every four and a half inches. Connect the base with the straight lines to get the tic-tac-toe border pattern. Cut off the corner squares. We've got the plus sign shaped detail. The steps to making the inner layer are identical to the steps above. Just trim the cardboard to 12 inches by 12 inches. Create a tic-tac-toe board with four inch marks. Score the lines on the heart featured base to fold the cardboard easily. Use an empty ballpoint pen. Fold the paper along the lines to create walls. Crease the hearts in this way. Score and fold the other layers. Assemble the eye-catching 3D base. Well, now we're going to start the most fascinating job, filling the box with stunning cards and origami boxes. Make the central element box. We could put a little gift or wish note inside. Take a colored paper square, three and a half inches by three and a half inches. Draw the diagonals to divide the square into four parts. Fold two opposite sides to the center to make a gate fold. Fold each corner into the center and crease well. Unfold and turn it over. Fold the right and bottom sides. Form a square out of the corner. Continue folding the other sides in the same way we should get four small squares on the top. The box forms a star when open. Fold the creases with a ruler to keep the shape. Erase the pencil. Fold the corner of each square to the edge to create a flap. This origami box looks untraditional. You can hide some secret gift inside. Let's make this secret present like a donut-shaped accessory. Trace any round-shaped object of the appropriate size on the felt. Make two identical details. Draw central circles. Cut them out. Now, make the same sponge detail. Sandwich the sponge between the felt details and hot glue. Carefully join the top and bottom sides to hide the sponge. Make a felt pink icing. Keep in mind the wavy edge to look real. Here should be the hole. Fold and cut it out. Attach the icing. Imitate sprinkles from colored felt strips. Hot glue. The cute little donut looks so tasty and tempting. Fasten a keychain ring and a lovely little gift is ready. Take a safety pin to decorate your backpack or make a sweet brooch. To continue the confectionery theme, let's make a macaroon and donut double slider card. Take a three and a half inch by three and a half inch color cardboard. Mark a half inch border around all four sides of the paper. Connect the marks. Measure and mark 1 16th inch along one border. Repeat for the opposite side. Cut out the narrow strips. You'll get two identical slits. Take plastic or a cellophane bag and trim a slider band of the appropriate size. Put it in through the slits. Secure the ends with multi-purpose glue. Give it a try to make sure that it moves freely. Apply the glue to the back of the slider and attach a colored paper square to overlap the card edge. Turn it over and attach the same square to the opposite side on the back. Try again to ensure the slider is still loose. Take a few strips of double-sided tape. Attach them to the top and bottom. 
Add a top piece that is the square of the same size as the base. Embellish it with the patterned paper. Pull out the hidden panels. Attach a donut's image to the top card. Add macaroon piles on the right and left. You can use stickers like we did or find images on the internet. Round the corners. Let's test the mechanism. Just move the slider back and forth. Cool! You can pop out the secret panels and hide them smoothly. Attach photos or write down a few warm words or love confession on the hidden panels to add an extra element of surprise to your card. Another mechanical card will separate and join two halves of a heart. Take a square piece of the scrapbook paper for a base and a wide paper strip of the contrast pattern for a slider. Mark and outline the window where the slider will move. Use a ruler. Cut out the window with the craft knife. Choose a paper heart of the appropriate size. Cut it out in half. Attach one half to the double-sided foam tape on the left. Put the slider strip underneath. Attach the other heart half to the slider. Embellish the base. Make sure the heart half moves freely. Cut off the excess. Attach the double-sided tape to the top and bottom of the back. Round the corners. The cute sliding heart card could help reveal your affectionate feelings you are too shy to express. Just add a few words in the window that slides open. We continue making cool paper crafts. Let's fold another small origami box. Draw a circle with a pair of compasses. The diameter should not exceed 4 inches. Divide the circle into 6 equal 2 inch parts. Connect the marks. You'll get an equilateral hexagon. Draw the lines this way to get triangles. We've got a six point star. Then draw the lines directed to the center. Set the compasses into the intersection and draw a semicircle. Repeat on each side. Cut out carefully. We should get a six petal flower. Fold up each two petals. Score the middle of each petal to fold it in half. Crease each folding line. Fold up the box. The petals fold clockwise to create a beautiful pattern. Erase the pencil. The box may look intimidating, but it is really worth trying. Let's make a funny card embellished with amusing emojis. Take a strip of colored paper. Fold it in half lengthwise. Unfold. Turn one side down. Then turn it up. You'll get a cross in the center. Fold the strip along the creases to get an arrow-shaped detail. Attach it to a double-sided base with a 3-inch side. Close it up to glue the arrow to the cover. Fold the pattern paper strip in half. It should be a bit bigger than the base. Fold the edges to the central crease. Apply the glue to the right top corner of the pink detail and to the left bottom one. Attach the folded element to create a 3D triangle in the center. Thus, the card will be volumetric. Embellish the card with lovely emojis. You'll find the link in the video description. Add some stars. And a funny surprise card is ready. Add a few waggish wishes to cheer up the recipient. Now, let's place the awesome cards inside the exploding box. You can secure them using the white glue or double-sided tape. Each card can be a separate gift as it reveals a special message or a favorite image. Put in the layers one by one. Attach the central piece. The box is fascinating. Each wall is embellished with its own fabulous element. Put a lovely donut inside the central box. You can take any other gift of the appropriate size. 
Take colored cardstock 11 inches by 11 inches. We've measured and marked it to get a 5.5 inch by 5.5 inch square in the center. The flaps will be 2 and 6 eighth inches. Make four cuts in this way. Score the folding lines. Fold up every flap. Secure with the glue. We've got the lid. Embellish it with ribbons. Set the lid on the box. Let's see what we've got. Boom! Whoa! A great explosion! It's amazing! Every element moves and opens in a peculiar way. It's a great opportunity to be creative and to add your own personal touches. You can put a special gift inside the central box. We've chosen a charming handmade donut. Write in your comments what kind of gifts you like to get most of all. In this project, we'll show you two awesome romantic scrapbook ideas. We'll need color cardboard and paper, scrapbook paper with different floral patterns, and scrapbook binder rings. Mark the half on pale pink cardboard to draw a big heart. Cut it out. Let's see what the scrapbook will look like. Put two cardstock pieces of similar dark red shades on the blue cardboard. The heart will be a scrapbook cover. Punch holes for rings. Let's decorate the scrapbook. Attach scrapbook paper with a gray floral pattern to the bottom of the heart. Use white glue. Cut out across the outline. Add a theme tag. Embellish the bottom of the base. Choose a scrapbook with a bright, colorful ornament. We'll decorate the handmade dark red tags in the same style by sticking a floral motif on the bottom. Make colored pages. Align the sheets and punch. Put on binder rings. Start with the underside. First, pass the pages through the rings. Then, add the tags. And finish with the heart-shaped cover. Close the rings. This fabulous ring binder scrapbook is quite convenient as you can change or add pages whenever you need to. For the second one, we'll need color and craft paper cardstock, aged floral pattern paper, and tags. Take square dark brown cardstock 12 inches long. Measure out 5 and 6 inches. Make marks on both sides. Score the lines with an empty ballpoint pen or another appropriate scoring tool. Fold the cardboard. The scrapbook cover is ready. Let's make pages from brown craft paper a few shades lighter. We've taken pages a bit smaller in size than the cover. They should be folded in half. Glue the pages one by one. We use a glue stick, but white glue will do well. Stick all the pages in one pad. Attach the pages to the cover. Let's decorate the scrapbook. Take the aged floral pattern paper for the background. Make a simple collage on the cover. Start with a bright magenta accent. Add some unusual detail. In this case, it's a tag of a surrealistic watch with butterfly wings. Add an important word tag and a striped heart-shaped embellishment inside. This smart vintage scrapbook design can help inspire your mental activity and imagination. These cool romantic scrapbook ideas will create different atmospheres for your creativity. Leave your comments, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We share original scrapbooking ideas. Create beauty with us.